Here's a quick fix for you. Best one all week. See the Yaris is back? Well, I was complaining that it wouldn't start. Well, couldn't believe it, so I brought it back down. And uh, I was driving it around all week. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Anyway, uh, yesterday when I went for some uh, alcoholic refreshments, I worked out what it was. You'd never believe it. It was the carpet. Now how can a carpet stop a car from working? In North American cars, and in a lot of cars all around the, round, around the world now, there is a safety switch, you have to push the clutch right down to get the car to start. Alright, that's kind of easy. But what was happening was, the owners had, when they got the car back after I did all that work, they vacuumed it out, and they put the carpets in the wrong side. See this, see, it's got two little eyelets here. This is the driver's side one. And what it does is it stops it hooking under, like moving forward with your feet. And by clipping it back in, problem solved. Because that's why they put this great big cut out here. Which isn't in here. So this was going under the pedal and stopping it working. I hope you liked that one. That was a, that was a really weird one. But it, uh, it fixed that job. Hey, this is only a short video, isn't it? I'll tell you about another guy who came in last week. The penguin. Talk to you later. Penguin takes his car into the shop and the mechanic says he needs an hour to check it out. What kind of car? What kind of... A damn penguin car, all right? Anyway, he goes across the street to the 7-Eleven to kill some time and get an ice cream. Penguins love ice cream. Really? Sure. But because he's got no hands, the poor little guy gets the ice cream all over his beak. It's going somewhere. So he goes back to the mechanic. The guy tells him, looks like it blew a seal. The penguin tells him, no, that's just a little ice cream. <laughs> ha!